So I wanted to do this video about people on the internet using the term true gamer as a way to make their console of choice look like it's the best. Now, I've seen this all over the internet and I'm sure that many of you have too. I've seen it on news sites for video games, um, forums, other people's videos that have anything to do with video games. And this is just getting really on my nerves every time I see this. So here's my impersonation of these people that I'm here. This is what I imagine that they sound like. Ooh, Xbox is for true gamers. True gamers game on Xbox. La la la, you must game on the Xbox if you're a true gamer. Ha ha ha, no law, new game fag. Only PlayStation is for true gamers. True gamers game on PlayStation. Buy a PS4 if you want to be a true gamer. Ha ha ha, you are both a bunch of noobs and idiots. Play the PC if you want the real gaming experience. True gamers game on PC. We have Steam and we have the best graphics. Ha 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 ha. PC Master Race for the win. Ha 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 ha. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Seriously, just shut the fuck up with this fucking fanboyism. And you know what? It's not just in the Xbox community and PlayStation community and PC community where people like this exist. I've even seen Nintendo fanboys pull this shit, and you know what? It's just as annoying when a Nintendo fan does it as it is when any fanboy for any gaming device does it. Now look, everybody has their own preferences in general, and especially for gaming devices, everybody has their own preference. Now, obviously, I prefer Nintendo because I am the Nintendo reviewer, but I am willing to play with friends on other consoles. Like, there's... There's been many times where I've gone to a friend's house and that friend happens to have an Xbox or an Xbox 360 and I'll play something like Black Ops or Halo on the said Xbox or Xbox 360 or I've even done a LAN multiplayer match for Counter-Strike on my friend's PC because he had like three PCs laying around. In fact, just yesterday, two of my friends came over. One of them games on an Xbox 360, the other games on a PS3. And all three of us were just there playing Black Ops 2 multiplayer on my Wii U and just having fun playing a video game together. That's, but that's the point. We all have our own preferences, but we can still play on other consoles with our friends. Look, and this whole thing with the term true gamer. Now, a gamer, I think this people misusing the term gamer, which honestly, I think at this point in time, the word gamer just needs to go away because it's been... It's because gaming is just getting more ingrained into society nowadays. So that word gamer should just be go should just go away. But anyways, a gamer is really just someone who plays games on any device that is capable of playing video games. A Wii U, an Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Mac, 3DS, Vita, freaking smartphones, because even they're playing games nowadays. But it's just any device that plays game or people who game on older consoles like I still game on my N64 because I love the games that I have on my N64 and you know, the N64 is a console that came out over 15 years ago but I still play games on it because I like the games that I have for it. If you play a game on or even one of those like Farmville games you know games like Farmville on Facebook such that's still a game it is you are still a gamer if you want, still want to use that term if you play any of those games so, and using the term true gamer in any way especially to try to make your machine of choice look the best some of you have no idea how incredibly nerdy you sound when you use the term true gamer it just makes you look like such a nerdy fanboy and that just really gets on the nerves of the rest of us and those are people we like to call you trolls sometimes and you know you just need to let it go just get back to playing games you know, stop trying to use the word true gamer to make yourself look great or trying to make your own system of choice look great and the thing is I used to think like some of these people who use the word true gamer who are just really over the top in their fanboyism until I woke up and thought you know what I am nowhere near that nerdy. I just play games. I happen to prefer Nintendo. Other people have their own preferences. That's all there is to it. I just play games to play games. It's a form of entertainment. 
Everyone has their preferences. I have my preference too. That's it. Now, frankly, I don't like gaming on a smartphone or an iPad, any kind of tablet device, because I have my reservations about using all touchscreen controls if you don't have an actual controller with you. But, you know, that's just me. And I know that people, there are a lot of people who like to game on their smartphones and on their tablets, and then I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm not going to go out and disrespect those people just because of my own preferences. And so people shouldn't go around insulting others because of the gaming device that they prefer and not try to look all elitist with whatever gaming device they prefer. This applies to everybody. So a message to everybody who plays video games, not just fanboys, not just people in one community or the other, anybody who plays video games. Just let's please, let's stop all this immature, nerdy fanboyism, all this mudslinging over video game devices, and let's just get back to playing games. Just have fun playing games on your machine of choice. Let's just get back to that and just have fun playing games. All right. Have a good one, everybody. I'm done ranting now.